Welcome to the 2024 Miami Grand Prix predictions. I'm joined in once again with, uh, by, sorry, <laughs> Captain, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. And yeah, a Miami Grand Prix, but there's been a lot of drama around F1 recently, so, uh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure this this will we'll have to sort of talk about that as well as the yeah. Miami Grand Prix because it's been a crazy week. Yep, there's a lot of news. Obviously, uh, this year is known for it being more way more exciting off track than on track. But yeah, <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, um, okay, before we move to the predictions, let's recap the news. Well, the, the biggest news, obviously, uh, Adrian Newey leaving Red Bull Racing after 19 years. That's a big one. Yes, it's a huge one because, uh, well, he's sort of the backbone of Red Bull and their success over n not even years now, like uh, oh, decades, dozens, almost. dozens. Of, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> he has been incredible and such an amazing person to have in that team. He's literally the god of aerodynamics in Formula One. Pretty much every other team tries to copy him so the fact they've lost him and uh we sort of already you know we are we are saying too much because i don't want us to get in legal issues we kind of know why he left um yeah it's a huge loss to red bull yeah yep definitely a huge loss loss to red bull but it, that also may be a huge win for another team uh yes yep perhaps ferrari aston Maybe other teams. I don't really feel like those are any options. And I, I McLaren like, are quite yeah, quite yeah. Uh, high up there as well. I think those are the three. Yeah, um, yeah probably. He, Although, you know, yeah, yeah, he's pretty much said he won't go to Mercedes. So yeah, I, I, I feel like Ferrari is like the only actual option that is realistic as well. Is I mean, it's the only team, only big team he hasn't ever worked with in F one. Also, yeah. the, the huge, huge, well, name they, they brought up earlier this year, Lewis Hamilton joining the team. That's, yes. the, that's definitely two, a contributor. Two of the goats of Formula One working together could be pretty crazy if it happens. Yeah, indeed. And um, yeah, Charles is also a very marketable driver. I mean, Ferrari with Adrian Hamilton, Vasseur, and Leclerc, that, that may be a winning combination we'll see <laughs> all right we shall see i can't i can't believe it's true that's yeah. that's the main thing yeah um obviously no news about any other team members potentially drivers leaving red bull just yet hopefully mm. some excitement following but uh, yeah, it's very unlikely at this point yes yeah. yes uh especially miami's Never been really quite an interesting race, has it? Uh, it's failed to uh, excite. Uh, the other big news uh, uh, was that's sort of been overshadowed, I did want to get to, is the Hulkenberg. Yeah. Uh, confirmed to Audi. So that's that's going to be very cool. He'll, be, he'll move their season early. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it'd be nice to have Hulkenberg back in the grid. He's doing well this year with Haas. Uh, a big steal from Audi. It makes sense, considering both German... Uh, well, driver and uh, car, but uh, yeah, big big news for Hulkenberg and his fans, including ourselves. We're both quite big Nico Hulkenberg fans, so uh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, definitely couldn't agree more. I'm especially excited as uh, well. <laughs> well, Hulkenberg is officially my uh, my favorite driver since 2017. So yeah, I'm obviously very happy for him to continue in F1. And yeah, Audi is probably the like the one option that I was very excited about because well, he's obviously not going to a top team at 36 years old, I think. So, so yeah, Audi was like the one option of a last last redemption in his career. P perhaps Audi can make a good car for 2026 and bring a final podium for Nico Hulkenberg. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, the other driver approached by Audi, obviously, signs still on the ultimatum. He needs to decide soon whether he wants mm. to take the Audi deal or stay, well, not stay at Ferrari, obviously, uh, stay with the other options of potentially Red Bull. 
but that's also getting more unlikely with Perez scoring consistent podiums. Uh, yes. Mercedes is still an option, but it looks like they desperately want uh, Max in that car. And if they're not getting Max, I think they'll still pick Antonelli just because they're putting so much effort and testing uh, into that boy. So, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. What were the other news? It's crazy. Uh, Andretti is having a backup 12 Congress members. <laughs> I don't really know what it was, but it was like, like them not being as accepted into F- F1 was against some kind of F- uh, US law. And since Liberty Media is under, uh, it's American essentially and it's under the US law, it was like, yeah, uh, we are the two L, we are the 12 Congress members, and we demand and ready to we put on the grid. Yeah, a nice statement, yeah. obviously, very exciting to have and ready on the grid, but still, I don't know when is that happening. I really, really hope it's 2026 at least, but yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I really don't want to see politics in F1, but unfortunately, that's what we have, and, and we have politics, uh, not letting Andretti into F1 and politics maybe getting them into F1 itself. So, oh, we'll see. We shall, we shall, unfortunately. Uh, as you say, it's, it's not good, but yeah, it, it's here and uh, it seems to be here to stay. Uh, talking of politics, the Miami Grand Prix, very <laughs> political track based on the fact that it's, uh, it's awful, it's an awful <laughs> race. Yeah. Stupid, stupid race. It's, uh, I think yeah. it is my. I don't like the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. Uh, that's for politic- political reasons. Um, but uh, but I think it might be like it's the worst track in like. Definitely. It's the worst track in America. Let's just let's oh. just leave it at that, shall we? What what the worst tracks are there on the calendar? I, see, I don't like Saudi Arabia. As I say, that's political. I don't think it's a great race either. Um, it might, it might be Miami. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other track, and none come to my mind. There's no track that is just as boring. Has has never had as boring a race as Miami. Like at least. Races like Mexico, you've got the fan atmosphere, even it, and you've got the long straight, even though no one could ever overtake on it. <laughs> um, I just, yeah, just can't think of anything for my family. <laughs> yeah, that was, you are already alluded to one of my questions. I, I wanted to ask, like, what are your opinions on the track? And you pretty much, well, g- gave me that opinion <laughs> before I asked. I, I'm, Pretty much on the same note. I, I just really, really don't like this track. It's extremely boring, extremely, uh, it's like you said, political. There's no reason to have it other than to have, well, rich US celebrities on the track. Like, mm, uh, the, yes. They even built the fake marina or whatever that was, and it still couldn't, <laughs> couldn't put simple gravel traps in the sector one. Imagine how much better that would be if the drivers had, actually, had to actually push in sector one with gravels on the on each side and walls behind them that would actually be more exciting but right now especially with that with the uh, end of sector two you know the extremely slow section that's ex- extremely awful for racing i have no idea who made that but they're not very good at designing traps yes yeah definitely there's just um, but you know what i, I heard taylor swift's gonna be there this year so a great track <laughs> perfect track love it um yeah i yeah that's all i could say yeah, <laughs> i it's... think it is the worst track on the calendar yeah this is like the one race that I, if, if even if it would be a good season like a title fight going on i don't i don't feel like i would be excited for this track just based on just how bad it is to, to let's, let's hope they can prove us wrong because i used to think this about baku but then it started actually you know being fun maybe yeah. this time it will be i doubt it but maybe yeah perhaps well right now it's just the worst baku that's well <laughs> uh for more rich people i guess yes yeah i think uh i think the first ever 
Miami Grand Prix, I was very hungover as well. So my, my one time in life being hungover. <laughs> so uh, that's probably not done at any good points either. Uh, at least the, the timing of, of the Grand Prix is better than the last few we had, because obviously we had to uh, wake up early in the morning to watch any F1, and this time it's late in the evening. Well, not the best timing for the race, because it basically starts when I normally go to sleep for work on Sunday. That might be an yeah. issue for me, but hopefully, uh, well, <laughs> I'll get a good sleep the, the, the night beforehand. <laughs> All right. Um, any any more news that we missed? No, I think I think we're done. I think we are on to predictions, and I believe it's you to go first this week. Uh, is it? I think I. I w- okay. Yeah. I don't mind. I can go first. I'll all go right. Away. All right. I'll, I'll I'll go first since I'm still in the lead. You kind of need the points over me. Um, even though you you are, you, yeah. you had a, little, a big a big uh, point grab last race, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> all right um i'm gonna go with max pole position nice nice okay max pole position who would have guessed it uh yeah i, I I'm, I'm the same look uh i you know i'm not even gonna do my funny bit max max have our position let's go on to p2 <laughs> all right check over sp2 <laughs> oh my god damn it we're doing the same thing uh, I, see, that's why I always think I'm going to get you because you're not a fan of Perez. But uh, yep. he was okay on this track last year. Granted, he did get overtaken by Verstappen, who was like ten places behind. But oh well. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I I feel like this track is going to suit the Red Bull quite a ton. I think they're going to be just unbeatable, and that's going to bring Perez P2. Now that Perez will be very close to Max, I still believe. That gap will be between three to four tenths of a second in qualifying and the race, obviously, Max drifting into the sunset <laughs> with a 40 second lead or something. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Sadly, sadly, annoyingly. Yeah. Um, P3. P3. Um, I'm going to give to Lando. I, I, I really feel like he did really well in China and they're bringing upgrades for this weekend. So hopefully, McLaren can be Ooh. close to Red Bull. I but didn't know I, they would bring upgrades. Yeah, uh, their first big upgrade of the season, I think. So, yeah, hopefully some okay. exciting... Uh, I did not know that they were going to bring upgrades. I'm going to go with Claire. I'm going to stick to my guns, because I think uh, the McLaren doesn't suit this race as much as it suited, like, China. And uh, what was the race before China? Japan, uh, with where the McLaren was very quick. I, I don't think... The, it suits them as much this race, so I'm going to go with Leclerc in the Ferrari instead. Yep, completely fair with my Leclerc in P4. <laughs> ah, okay, well, we swapped places here. One of us is going to be very unlucky or very lucky because yeah. uh, I'm going to go with Norris in P4 instead. Uh, same reasons as you, uh, except I didn't know they were going to bring up Grain, so I have changed from sides. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But yeah, I shouldn't have told you, bro. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> if, well, well, if North gets P5, then it's a W for me. It I is. Mean, it is. Piastri for P5, I feel like he's going to do all right. Not as good as Norris. Obviously, Norris has been the better driver uh, in the last couple of races. And I feel like that's going to continue for the next couple as well. I feel like Piastri is just, well, not kind of, not quite in the zone. Because he like he still manages the tires, just trying to still trying to learn how the car and the tire management works. And Lando is just putting the performance as well while Piastri is at it. So yeah, Piastri is still gonna struggle, uh, in my opinion. But relative to Lando. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But uh I'm going to I'm going to go for a shock one in P5 for me. I'm going to go with Russell. The Mercedes is always also bringing upgrades, and uh, right, you, I, you, I don't know why. I think I think I think they might be quick. Right, you actually knew about the Mercedes upgrades. Yes, I did know about those ones. All right, so yeah, McLaren and Mercedes 
the, uh, the teams with upgrades, obviously. Aston bringing some small updates to the car as well. Haas bringing upgrades, so that could be a team to watch out for. And yeah, I think, I think that's it pretty much. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Sprint. Sprint pole position. Max or stuff. <laughs> is there a sprint this weekend? Yeah, it is. It's it's sprint actually. Two in a row. I, I didn't Crazy. believe it. I, I, I had to double check because I was like, yeah, what sprint in Miami? That's going to be like double boring. the board. <laughs> shall, shall we get over it? Over done with, with yeah. sprint because we both know yeah. what we're going to put. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, Grand <laughs> when uh, let's move on to P2. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's put go on to P2. Uh, <laughs> maybe move on to P3. <laughs> Or maybe actually not putting Perez. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. okay. P1 of the Formula 1.5 is for me, Lando staying in P3. Another podium for, oh. for him. I'm going to shake it up. All right. And still put, well, I say shake it up. I'm still <laughs> going to put Leclerc. I don't want to put the same as you. I want to gain points. So uh, there's that. There's that. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with Leclerc. Uh, yeah, okay. Good. Good. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay with Charles and B4. Pretty much my, my top four stay the same. But my, Very my boring B5, race for you. My B5 <laughs> change. So, um... Uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna put Sites in P4. I just, I just wanna... It could be a difference. Right, uh, P4. Yeah, yeah, I, I know they're not bringing upgrades. I don't know why. I just think they'll be good at this race. I think that, that it's a decent track for them uh, based on their car setup already. So, yeah, I think they'll do well. Sure. My P5. Georgie Russell. I uh, kind of copied your, uh, your qualifying a bit, but it's still, I believe that Mercedes Everest will. Not that, not that they will work essentially to what they should, but it was still a, a little bit that Russell needs to get into the top five because he's been around that P7 to P8 area for most of the last few races. And yeah, perhaps George can extract the performance from the upgraded Mercedes. Yeah, okay. Um, what? Well... Oh, I'm going to put Norris P5. Uh, and, mm, do I take the risk on Piastri? Yeah, I'm going to take, I think I think Norris will probably be a high up there. But obviously, I'll put a, a certain uh, science in the curse. So I'm going to put Piastri. Uh, I do think that there's potential Norris to get top five. I just think it's more likely that Piastri will get fifth. Oh, fair. All right. Uh -huh. Um, I mean, if, if Norris and Russell DNF, obviously, uh, it's a very likely prediction. Yes, um, hopefully. All right. We'll That's the slap. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, fast the slap, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. What is your okay, fast as slap? <laughs> I'm going to take a risk and put Norris Are you there. actually? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I actually would not pick for Sapan if I... I actually thought he would pick for Max as well, so that's why I went with him. You covered your bases, but now you can't go back. Yeah, I mean, it's still the most likely option by far. But yeah, it's yeah, definitely, I'll, def I'll, definitely I'll take the it. most likely option. Okay. Um, least impressive driver. Hmm. I'm going to pick Lewis. I have no idea why. I picked George last weekend, I think, and did not pay off. So, well, Hamilton this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, that's the least impressive team, by the way. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do least impressive driver first now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Least impressive driver for me. I'm going to go for a weird one, I reckon. Uh, just because I've. I, I'm going to go Daniel Ricciardo. Mm. Least impressive driver. That's, well, um, a good pick based on the thank season. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, he, I just, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I feel like the Miami Heat is going to get to him. That was a pub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
right, all right. Um, going out partying, you know. Yeah, I just rocking I it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, yeah, Ricardo for really impressive. I mean, yeah, very, very likely based on the, how the season went so far. He had a good weekend in China, but still, well, far from ideal as the for the season overall. My least impressive team will be Aston. Oh, okay, okay. Fernando Alonso will not score too many points. <laughs> I like, I like that pick. And a lot. Stroll will be Stroll, so that's a guarantee. But I, I think Alonso will not be in the top eight. I am going to go with Haas because I feel like every time they upgrade their car, they make it worse. Well, they had some upgrades in China and scored points. Yeah, no, I, um, yeah. no, I'm still going with Haas. They shouldn't have scored points in Australia. I mean, if they crash into each other, guns. it's still the least impressive team, so <laughs> good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, if it works out, like, fair play, that's, uh, that's a good point. Um... All right, most impressive team. Um, I'm gonna go with McLaren just uh, based on the feeling that I'm getting from the team with the upgrades. They could follow the path, the development path of last year that they well, obviously jump from the sixth fastest to second fastest in the span of one race. That was a good one, but I, I feel like it's gonna be that massive. I, I, I feel like they're gonna be close to the Red Bull. But not quite. And there's going to be the second fastest team. That's a that's a, that's a strange one from you, though. I can't lie because they are. I still think they're the third fastest team. So I, you know what? That's a fair. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Uh, I'm gonna go a cheeky bit of Alpine. Don't know why. Uh, makes no sense. They're a terrible car. Uh, badly designed and everything beyond, but I don't. I'm just feeling the pink in Miami, shall we say? So you're thinking a point? Is yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Points for Alpine. That's a bold one. You can put uh, an extra ball prediction as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna go for a weirder one in there. Okay, okay. Most impressive driver. Hmm. Okay, uh, for Stappen, Grand Slam is kind of what we're used to now. So, uh, yeah. Um, I was thinking for Stappen as well. I feel like he's going to destroy everyone this weekend, but still, that's his standard. <laughs> Can I really put him in the most impressive? See, I was going to go for Verstappen as well, so we're stuck. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, I'm going to go with Lando since I, I put him in P3. That's and a fair all point. That's a fair point. Uh, I think uh, Lando is a good option. Uh, I won't go for him because I don't want to steal him off you. You know what? I'm doing really weird picks. Yeah, uh, I see the I see the pick. Logan, uh, Logan Sergeant. Okay. <laughs> okay <what? laughs> like, if he comes 12th, I'd say that's the most impressive driver. To be fair, I hit the, he set the bar so low that even a P12 could be the most impressive. Uh, yeah. There's like, yep. a, there's like one driver that I would never ever pick. Like every other driver on the grid has had at least one race when they shine. Even last roll had some moments last year, but Saren yep. has Saren really, really only has been impressive when he was right behind yeah. Alban. So I would say uh, I would point out to the uh, Circuit of America. I think he was impressive there. Okay. <laughs> That was that was his one shining light, and this is also an American track. So, Logan Sargent is. The, the, the most Watch as he doesn't get to race again like he did for now, <laughs> but crushed his car. All right. The most impressive drive from him is the one that he got beaten by Alban still. <laughs> hey, look, I didn't say that. I, I, look, he's always going to get beaten by Albon. But, uh... Maybe I should put Williams. I'm just going for weird picks. That's that's all I'm uh, going for. Uh, you got a colorful, uh, impressive tab. So, good for you. Yes, exactly. A crazy one. A crazy Extra one. prediction. Um, is this bold enough? 
I mean, I don't know. I haven't he, seen he, it. Yet. He he got like five or four or five grand slams in his entire career. So I don't know if it's bold enough. I mean, no, I like it. I like it enough. I like it enough. If, if you, you are predicting that, so if, uh, yeah. That's if, fair. if you think about it statistically, he he got a grand slam like every tenth or eleventh win. So technically, Ooh. uh, yeah, six cars. Six cars. That's my pro <laughs> prediction. Six <laughs> cars lapped. That's what I meant. Oh, to put. okay. Like that's, I mean, that's not like, I don't know. That's a that's a good pick. That's a that's a good prediction because yeah. Um, is it not? Is it not bold enough? I mean, it it it. it it requires no safety cars, pretty much, which obviously Miami is a very boring track, so we could not, uh, we but could, for, we could see no safety cars for sure. But let me yeah. just make sure all the time. There you go. Well, six <laughs> plus, okay. <laughs> I'm not being, I'm not being outdone if there isn't, if there's like seven cars lapped. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, six plus yeah. cars lapped. I would still give you a point. I'm not that. Not that mean. I guess we we did it. We did it in half an hour. Good, good from us. Good job, us. <laughs> good job, us. Exactly. All right. Um. Good. Let's. I guess we can wrap it up. Oh, uh, there's nothing really much to talk about. Obviously, uh, FP one tomorrow, so uh, we'll get the reaction. Uh, most likely on the first day next week. I, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Probably at that, at that time. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, always a pleasure to have you with us here. And yeah, well, that's uh, the outro. Um, okay. If you enjoy this video and you enjoy these F1 videos, we would greatly appreciate if you would subscribe, obviously. Like the video and a comment is a very important one because if you comment down below, we may remember you. And then uh obviously that's uh what happens after that is the future but i mean it still helps if you comment on a video i was uh talking about f1 stuff helps um to build a community that i kind of lost when i changed content but hopefully we can rebuild it um in uh well hopefully this year but i don't know um anyways um it's a kind of long outro uh <laughs> Thank you everyone who's been watching this video and well, we'll see you most likely on Thursday next week for the reaction. So, uh, bye everyone. Peace.